Hello everyone, before we start this video, I would like to draw your attention to Eyes on Ukraine. This organisation has already delivered 650 consumer drones to the armed forces of Ukraine and they're well worth supporting. Now, on to today's video. So in this video I'm going to cover Russia building a rather elaborate defensive network, including trenches, support buildings and also a SAM site on the coast of Crimea. Now we did have word that these trenches were being constructed a while ago, but here we have a video of satellite imagery showing the network itself. So these are quite sizeable. They're located near a town called Yevpatoria. They're based along a beach and are 3.6 kilometers long. The trench system is the typical zigzag shape that we see elsewhere in Ukraine. And interspersed along behind them at regular intervals, we can also see the occasional rear area of trenches for troops that has been dug out. Now at the end of the video, and at the bottom of um, the south end side of the satellite imagery, we can see some larger positions being dug. These could be for artillery, or given the position along the coast, some sort of anti-ship missile system. Let's take a closer look. So you can see directly behind the main zigzagged trench, eight large earthen berths being dug out of the sand. These don't appear along the trench elsewhere, and they do look like the typical earthen works that we've seen dug for artillery systems. So I think this is either for artillery or an anti-ship missile system. Given its location, I think it very likely some sort of anti-ship missile could be placed here. Also, just behind it, we can see a walled compound. This, if we switch to Google Maps briefly, doesn't actually appear on Google Maps. So this walled compound is new, and so likely military in nature. You may spot a large radar station behind it, but this is marked as a tourist attraction, so I'm not sure if this is decommissioned or if it's just a television and communication station rather than a military site. Another interesting spot is here, a little further north. This also doesn't show on Google Maps images, and again, I think must be military in nature. I have no idea what this could be, it's quite curious. Scrolling further north, we have a walled compound which I've marked number one. This does appear on Google Maps, so it is old, but the structures highlighted in the blue box are not, so again, they are newly constructed. Before we look at where these are, here is a satellite image that's been shared showing them too. The static image making it a bit easier to see the extent of this defensive formation. So here's the location of the map. The stretch of coastline is between the two markers. However, this is just a small section that was available on the satellite image that was shared, so the defensive networks likely extend even further north. So what I did is turn to the low-quality Sentinel imaging available on the EOS website, shown here now. And this does indeed show signs of defensive works on the beach heading further north. This leading up towards a town called Stamova. I have added it to the map, so this makes this trench network approximately 11 kilometers long. Heading south, there is cloud cover, so it is hard to make out, but I would say it likely that the trench advances further south too. These are on Crimea's west coast, shown here. Now, I'm going to play another video showing the trenches being built. So these are clearly designed to stop an amphibious landing. But I would say an amphibious landing is extremely unlikely. A Ukrainian push towards Crimea will come from the north, likely through Melitopol. So, why dig the trenches? Ukraine does have a habit of pulling out the unexpected. So Russia is maybe preparing just in case, rather than be caught with their kegs down. Or, it could just be images to beam back home, to bizarrely attempt to show that Ukraine is the aggressor and threatening Crimea. I would also rule out these being to deter a commando operation, as there just aren't any targets along this coastline, at least not that I'm aware of. If this was near one of the airfields, I'd say that would be its purpose. Unless there is something along this stretch of coastline that we don't know about that Russia is defending. It does seem odd to build trenches here when an amphibious invasion of Crimea is very unlikely to happen. So what if this region is where Russia launches its lancers from, and they fear a commando or special forces raid to target them? 
There's no evidence to support that possibility, but I thought it worth considering that these trenches may be to guard something we're not aware of. Of course, it could be that these trenches are there to protect the new buildings and depot being built. Whether these structures are for training or for storage, I'm not sure. There is a fair bit being built here, and maybe Russia thinks them being near the coast could be vulnerable to an amphibious commando raid. Now, I also have another video for you. This one is quite discreetly filmed footage and it shows Russian air defences being set up near Yevpatoria in the Peschanka region of Crimea. This is a newly established SAM system and given the person filming was discreet, I would say he was definitely someone pro-Ukrainian there. Now, I can't tell because the footage is quite blurred and far out what SAM systems are here, but it does look to be a rather substantial SAM site. This, as seen here, is located very close to the trench network that we've just been looking at. So not only a trench has been established here, but also a very large SAM site, which I think is a bit more support that Russia is trying to protect something in this region. There aren't any military bases or targets from what I'm aware of in this region, nor large industrial sites. And as I mentioned, the odds of an amphibious landing of Crimea are slim. The fact Ukraine would have to get its ships over 200 kilometers of ocean means the mission would stand a strong chance of failure. So the only reason I can see is this is Russia trying to protect something here. A launch site for Shaheds is a possibility. It could also be though that the SAM system is there as a first line of defense against Ukrainian drones rather than protecting a specific site. It could also be, well, a training area or, you know, a depot, a storage depot for some sort of equipment or other. But it's interesting to see. Before we finish, here's a map which I put together where I've placed markers on a bunch of confirmed defensive positions. These positions can be seen freely available on the EOS website satellite imagery. You just need to sign up, put a location in, and then browse the imagery available. It isn't high quality, but you can see the trenches, and above all, it is free. So it's a nice way to sort of browse and see, you know, Russia's defensive networks. This bunch of networks show that Russia is concerned about a push towards Crimea and has taken to fortify many of the approaches from Kherson district and west of Melitopol in order to try and safeguard against that possibility. Now, we're also building trenches along the coast. So, that's it for this video. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And also, if you could give the video a share on social media to help its reach, I would appreciate that too. Thanks very much, and take care everybody.